Welcome back to the news on this Thursday evening. I'm first alert meteorologist Dave Turley, starting with the live view from our St. Joseph's Candler Pula Parkway Skycam. We see just a few high clouds in here, but the clouds are going to thicken up overnight tonight. We'll keep it dry, cool, but milder than we've been seeing the past couple of mornings with mid 40s. Friday will be warm again. We get a lot of clouds across the region. Very slight chance for a shower in our southern areas late. Saturday is a little bit better chance for seeing some showers across our southern areas. It looks like uh, you see those temperatures cooling back in the mid 60s. Sunday be much cooler, not getting out of the mid 50s, but it looks to be drier coming up into our Sunday. What do we have at the six o'clock hour? Temperatures for the most part still holding in the mid 60s inland, even 70 over in Jessup. We're down to uh, 61 degrees over on Hilton and Island, and the temperatures will cool kind of slowly this evening. You see by midnight, we're still in the low to mid 50s and then waking up tomorrow morning. It's going to be more of those mid to upper 40s at the bus stop with a calm wind, so no wind chill factor in there tomorrow morning. It'll be mostly cloudy, but a dry start, it looks like, for the kids heading out to school. Nothing going on now on that fair and fair. First alert live radar for the land areas. We are going to keep it dry. High pressure still in control. That's going to weaken just a little bit. And a lot of these thicker clouds back to our west, that's what's going to move over the region later on tonight and into our Friday. And eventually a cold front's going to make its way into the area by Saturday. And that's what's going to move through the region with a very slight chance for a shower. So cool, dry with more clouds in here tonight. The rain chance will be across our southern areas late tomorrow evening, it looks like. But the cold front will move through until Saturday. By the time that front's moving through the area, it's not going to have a lot of moisture. The moisture or the rain chances are going to be from the low pressure moving out of the Gulf of Mexico, passing to our south Saturday night and into Sunday. So that's where most of the moisture will be down and through Florida. Let's go ahead and show you that as we go hour by hour. Here we are stopping at midnight, mostly cloudy but dry. Same story getting out the door on Friday and throughout the day it'll be dry. There's that slight chance for a shower. You see we stop it here at midnight, not a big rain event. But by Saturday morning, this model is going to bring in some of those rain showers. We're kind of on the northern extent of that Saturday into Saturday night because other models do keep that rain chance going through Saturday evening. So again, the better rain chance will be across our southern areas on Saturday. Tomorrow, though, mostly cloudy. Your first alert seven day forecast will keep the rain chance 40 percent. And then we drop that down to 20 percent on Sunday and we drop those temperatures down into the low to mid 30s there on Monday morning. But it will be a dry most of next week with warming temperatures near 70 Wednesday.